Uh, but yeah. so let's talk about Wingard then. He has ideas. His ideas are for Baby Godzilla and Destroya in his next MonsterVerse sequel. That's pretty ambitious. I don't know how many how many people even know what Destroya is, uh, which I don't oh think you gosh. need to, because like, what was? Who cares about Tiamat? Like, I, that's that's a completely new creation. So I think that that's kind of an interesting story. I would like it to go back to Godzilla. Let Kong sit inside of Hollow Earth and let's go Godzilla. So I don't know. Well, you know what they're gonna do. You know what they're gonna do, right? Uh, have uh, Baby Godzilla get kidnapped? I don't know. What do you think? No, it's going to be a send off. It's going to be a, such a send off, and I know it because if you go back to the contract that Toho and Legendary had at the very beginning of the thing, one of the things that it says is is you cannot kill Godzilla unless he has a child or offspring that can replace him for future products. Oh, okay, uh, or, or for future uh, projects. Um, so when Adam Wingard brought up the idea of baby Godzilla and not only that, but Destroya, I knew exactly what was going to happen. Um, in the 19, I think it's 1985 film Godzilla vs. Destroya. It was going to be a send off for Godzilla in the Toho uh, series. Yeah. And what ended up happening is he was going on a meltdown because he had consumed too much radiation. What did Godzilla do in Godzilla X Kong? Consumed a lot of radiation. Yeah. And I'm thinking that that's exactly what's going to happen. Is it's going to be a showdown between Godzilla and his most deadly rival, Destroya, and it's probably going to be a send off for the G Man for Kong to continue the MonsterVerse. Which, honestly, to be fair, they should because Godzilla receives his love from Toho almost all the time, and it's not like the G the Godzilla fandom is just going to die just because the MonsterVerse legend uh, version of Godzilla goes away. No, I think what it needs to be is. I think Godzilla should make an exit in the MonsterVerse and let Kong now go off with these Titans that are now created with Michael Doherty. Yeah. And um, let let Kong finally build a reputation for himself. Because we have to remember, if it wasn't from Kong in the very get-go, Godzilla wouldn't really be around. Because Kong is what inspired Toho to even make Godzilla. So we have to give we have to give some credit or some respect to a character who has had so many attempts at a franchise but never really succeeded. This is finally it's uh, their opportunity to take Kong and make something of himself um, and let Toho continue with Godzilla through minus one because I think uh, if the cards are played out right, I think Toho is, is about to get back into the arena with the whole monsters duking at it with each other because in the director from minus one did say, if Godzilla is to appear next time, he's definitely going to show up with somebody else. Oh, and honestly... I think that love needs to go to Angiris. I mean, that, that, that I think that's a kaiju that doesn't receive as much credit as it needs. Godzilla um, raids again. Yeah, honestly. Like if it wasn't for that, if it wasn't for that one and Godzilla versus Kong, the Godzilla fan base wouldn't be what it is today. So there's gotta be some form of uh way that we need to pay those movies homage or something like that. That would be very interesting. I also, I, I had something that I heard in the movie that made me think twice. And I, I, I know I'm not the only person to think this. Uh, but he said, they mentioned the, uh, what do they say? The Is it the Titan that ate a star and they immediately assumed it was Godzilla? And I was thinking maybe they're referring to Space Godzilla because I think that would be you know, because you have you have two parallels there. You could either go with Destroya, which is really man-made, and you know, man trying to take back uh, some sort of power from Godzilla, or you can do the opposite, where you have his like space threat. Because they already hinted that uh, that Ghidorah was from space. You could easily introduce either Gigan or Space Godzilla. Throw them both out there. I don't care. <laughs> Whatever you want, bring them in. <laughs> But you know what I mean? Honestly, the only, yeah. The only trick is the, it, is the licensing component. But I thought mm. there was a possibility that they were... I think they left it open to interpretation where you could consider, you know, I guess you could say like that Godzilla ate a star, I guess. But I could also go the Space Godzilla way. Here's how I um, 